Team Cad Mojo. I am excited, can you tell? I've been waiting to put this down into the video ether for quite a long time. Now I get the chance. Can't wait, man. We are gonna be talking today about the confident wear. Are you ready to get catified? Let's go. So what we're gonna be talking about today is the confident wear. Where in the world are they confident? Is your cat a bush dweller, a tree dweller, or a beach dweller? A bush dweller is a type of cat who is always hiding under the coffee table or they're behind a potted plant, a bush, and they are waiting to do what? In the raw cat mind, if we think about cats in the wild, what are they waiting to do? They're waiting to hunt, to strike, to, to get your ankles, to do something. They're, they're down there getting their mojo on. Now, tree dweller, pretty obvious. If they're not down there on the floor behind the potted plant, what are they doing? They're up there, somewhere. Now here's the important thing with tree dwellers, it can be anywhere above the ground, right? Tree dwelling doesn't necessarily mean way up in the rafters. Rafters included for sure, but it can be this chair, it can be this table, it can be on the top of the couch, it can be way up in the rafters, but they are demonstrating confidence up. The beach dweller still lives out on the floor, likes to feel all four paws are firmly touching terra firma, got it. However, they do like being out, out. Yes, you know that cat, the cat that you trip over every day when you come into the living room and you haven't had your coffee yet and you go face planting into the kitchen because you've tripped on your beach cat. What they're doing is they're sending a clear message to you and to the other animals in the house. Basically, you wanna get from point A to point B, you're gonna have to not take the straightest uh, path. You're going to have to go around me. Remember something. It's all about Cat Mojo 101, which is what? Confident ownership of territory. Where does your cat demonstrate confidence, right? Well, what's the anti-confident where? Where are the places where your cat develops a lack of confidence, fear? Now, if you use the word hide, then you're not talking about a dweller. You're talking about a hider. You're talking about a caver, right? So if a cat is caving, that's saying that they like to be small, invisible. If they could, they would disappear into their cave. That's what makes a cat a caver. So what turns a caved cat into a bush dweller? Well, I'm glad you asked, because this is what catification is all about. Catification is getting you to the point where instead of hiding where we can't find you, what, oh, you're behind that, that shoebox back there, to creating an environment where it's under our control, where we're saying, you know what, it's okay if you wanna be in an enclosed environment, but we want it to be where we want it to be. Let's look at another example, right? You say, Jackson Galaxy, I have a cat who's a tree dweller. He never comes off the fridge. Huh? What? No, your cat is not confident on top of the fridge. Your cat is fridging. They're up there trying to get away from other cats who are tormenting them, or kids, or humans. They're, they're not coming down because they only feel safe there. They can disappear up there. Safety does not equal confidence. It's a component of, but that's the pendulum swinging way to the other side, right? We want your cat to be the mojito cat. We want your cat up like that, and ready to take on the world. And if they're on top of the fridge, that ain't it. So what are we trying to do? We're trying to transition the fridge cat to be a, a, a tree dweller, right? And how do we do that? We catify. We give the world ramps and a cat super highway to make sure they can move around there with confidence. And then over time, we encourage them to come down and join the rest of the world. So what our job is, if our cat is displaying uh, the unconfident wear, if our cat is displaying fear and the urge to disappear and be small, we want to say to them, just as if they were our children, go out there, step into your greatness. And the way a cat steps into their greatness is territorially. If they own the joint, they are a confident genius of a cat, and that's what we want. We don't want to change our cats. 
we don't want to we don't want them to be someone they're not if they're introspective that's who they are if they're the life of the party that's who they are but we don't want the introverted cat to become a hermit that's not a good life you know your cat and if you don't know your cat all you got to do is watch him all you got to do is put on your cat glasses and watch him and you will find out the most intense stuff man hey what makes us team cat mojo it's the we, it's the us, and how do we become a we and an us, and how do we make life better for cats, our cats, all those cats, shelter cats, cats on the street. We spread the word, we talk to one another, we become a community, so how do you do that? Subscribe, uh, leave me a comment here so that I talk about the things that you wanna hear about. Uh, and find me on Twitter and on Facebook and on Instagram and Google Plus. And speaking of Google Hangouts, be sure to join me on Wednesday, February 5th. I'll answer your questions and we're gonna talk more about declawing, so stay tuned for more information. But man, get that on your calendar and do it now. You have been watching Cat Mojo with Jackson Galaxy. Please stay tuned, there is so much more to come. And until we talk again, folks, light, love, and mojo to you. I'm not a bad cat. You're a bad cat. I'm just misunderstood. Meow.